let's go ahead so what we have done is we have simply created this constructor where you have assigned these two things right we have uh, loaded a driver and then we got the connection object the next thing would be uh, when i say i want to fetch all the elements this, this is not what i want to return i don't want to return something which is not defined right so let's create a list of values now so i will say a list of aliens and I will name this as aliens and that's what I want to return here. So I will say add a list and we'll say add a list. Again, if, if we can use this hibernate framework here, this will make our work very easy, right? But then since we are not using that, let's use normal JDBC. And if you know how do you fetch values, so of course we have to fire a query. So I will say string SQL where I will fire the query and the query would be, it's very simple. So it's a select star from alien and okay once we do that let's fire this query now the way you can do that is by creating a statement object so we'll say statement st equal to con dot create statement okay now once we got a statement object let's import this statement object there or statement interface uh, what's wrong with this so statement from java.sql and we got an error now it says it might throw an exception. So again, we have to use a try and catch block here. So I will say this will be included in the try block and it will be getting over inside the catch block. So let's assign it there. Let's say exception E. Exception E and let's print a error. Whatever error you'll be getting there, let's print that here. So we'll say E, okay. Now, once we got the statement object, it's time to execute it. So we'll say st.execute query. Now, as you know, whenever you execute a query, it will return you a result set. So what, what, what I will do is I will say result set. I will say rs equal to st.execute query. And we have to input this package. Yes, which is from java.sql. Now, once we got result set, we, we have to run a while loop because we don't have one object, right? We'll be having multiple objects. So we'll say rs.next. So it depends upon how many values you have. It will iterate to all the values. And every time you get a value, let's create an alien object. We'll say alien A equal to new alien. And we'll set the value. So we'll say A dot set alien ID. And this would be coming from the from the uh, database. So we'll say set alien ID. We'll say RS dot get ID for the, from the first column. We'll say A dot set name. It will be second column. RS dot get string. We'll say two. We'll say a dot uh, set points, which is rs dot get int. It will be from three, right? So we got this object and we have assigned the value. Now we'll assign this value in a list. So we'll say aliens dot add and let's pass a. So it doesn't matter how many rows you have. If you have 50 rows, it will add your 50 aliens. And once you do that, you will get all the aliens. Now this is what, this is how you fetch the values, right? Maybe you want to fetch only one value now. So in this scenario, I don't want to return all the values. I want to return only one value. Again, we can use the same thing, but this time we will not return uh, aliens. I mean, multiple aliens will return only one alien, right? So for that, we can even fetch this. We can copy this code and let's paste it here. Again, we can call it as code reuse. That's what we are doing here, right? So we'll say instead of having select star, uh, instead of, yeah, we have to say select star where the ID is equal to whatever ID you have defined here. Maybe if your ID is 101, it will fetch 101, right? Okay, so same thing. The only thing is we don't have to use a while loop here. We have to use a if because we will not be running a loop here because we don't have, all, I mean, when you run this query, it will return, return only one value. So we'll say if others.next, uh, we'll set all this. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll create an object and we'll not add it. We'll return the same object. And to return the same object, of course, we have to create it outside somewhere here so that we can actually return it. And at the end, we'll say return, return A, right? That's the only change we have to do, right? So we have created this, we have fired this query and you will, you will get a result set. We just have to fetch, you have to say others.next and then you can fetch your values and you can return that particular object. It's that simple, right? And now you have to create, right? So for create again, we can use the same stuff. Uh, we can just paste it, not this one. Uh, we can just copy this code. In fact, the catch block as well. Okay, just to imp just to make it fast, I'm just copying all this thing. You can you can do your stuff there. 
Okay, so the query is, okay, now when you say, ins when you create a new thing, we have to create a string SQL equal to, you have to mention a query here. We'll say create, or not, uh, not create, or we have to say insert. Insert into alien, uh, we'll say values. Now question arise for values, we have to specify each and every value, right? Now, instead of using a normal statement, I'll be using a prepared statement here so that I can use question marks, which is placeholder in this case. And instead of saying statement, let me go for prepared statement. And this would be prepared statement. Right? Let me import the package for this. It is imported uh, from java.sql package. Anything else? Yeah. So we have to pass the query here itself. We don't pass the query inside execute query. We pass the query here itself. And we don't say execute query when you insert. We only say st dot execute update where is that execute update right so we have to say execute update and uh, we don't actually use if else here because we are not fetching data we are inserting data right but where is my values so i have to say st dot set int the first question mark will be, will be replaced by a1 dot get id st dot set string the second question mark will be replaced by a1 dot get name and st dot set int. The third question mark will be replaced by a1 dot get points. That's how you assign the values and that's how you insert the data. Now you think it will work? Let's try. Let's try this. The, finally, we are running something which will be saving into database, right? And this would be exciting. Let's go back here and let's restart my server. I guess it is done already now. Okay, let me just, yeah. So I guess this chart is done. Let me just go back to my postman just to verify if it is working. And here, I will say, I want to fetch all the values first of all. If I send a request, you can see we are getting blank because of course we don't have anything in database. Let's insert some data. So I will say post and I will go to body and I will say, the, uh, I want to send a request for alien and the value is 101, I mean 101 hush 40. And if I click on send, can you see that it worked? But then is it inserting data into database? Let's verify. Now there are two ways of verifying it. The first way is you can go to MySQL workbench and you can verify there. You can say select, select star from alien. Can you see that we have our data here? And there's one more way of verifying it. Let's go back to my postman and let's send a get request for all the aliens and you got your alien. Likewise, we can insert some more data just to verify it. Let's uh, let's say alien and I want to send a post request and I also send to also send, want to send a body. So we'll say Hirsch, I mean, so we'll say Naveen and let's add it as 70, right? Click on send. Now we got 70 uh, Naveen in the database. Let's go for three and let's say this is uh, Aarti and let's say this is, okay, uh, let's name number 60 and send. Uh, let's verify. How can you verify? Let's say select star from, I mean, let's fetch all the value from database. We'll say, we'll send a get request and send. You can see we got all the data here. Again, you can send a post, you can send a JSON request as well. You will get your data back. So finally, we are working with database and rest. In the subsequent tutorials, we'll, we'll, we'll see how to update data and delete data. So all the things are coming. So if you want to enjoy all those videos, just make sure that you subscribe the channel. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching.